All right, so anyway, they're all picked. Now I got to put, now I got to put the, <laughs> now I have to put the transfer paper on. All right, so this is one type of a transfer paper. As you can see, it's semi-clear. I'm a little low on this roll. I don't know if there's enough for me to use this one here, I'll use it. Um, and then there's another one that's, uh, okay. Well, here, I'll show you. I don't want to carry it over here unless I have to. It's almost a full roll. It's kind of a whitish color. Now, you can see through it, but not see, if you know what I mean. If you look, you can see through it. But this will tell me if I have enough before I put it down. Now when I had the bench hooked up and I was doing this a lot, what I did was I had a piece of pipe over here, uh, actually two pipes, and I had different size rolls connected. So all I had to do was just pull the, you know, the roll and it would stay on the pipe, uh, which made life a lot easier. But that's when I had the shop. Uh, I really don't plan on getting into it again that big, so I really don't care. Now, you can tell that I ran out of the roll right there. However, there's enough here for me to get this done. So we're going to lay it out. I'm lucky. Lucky! Now I don't want to cut it with a blade because I don't feel like ruining this top yet. Seems I haven't had a chance to even use it yet. So I'll take this off the rest of the way and I can use that for sending something by that I may need to send. Alright, so now we come over here and first we do a little bit of light sticky. And then uh, now we'll really get it down there. That's air that you're hearing come out of there. That was air. That was air. Don't worry about the dirt because that's not on the decal, that's just on the back of the transfer paper for me putting my dirty hands on it. Alright, so now I'll just get this off here and uh, cut this off because we don't need all that transfer paper sticking on us getting in our way. Now normally I would be measuring all this, so everything would be cut square. So if I was to install it on something, I would have the measurements. Because sometimes you haven't got the room that you need, so you have to go by measurements. Uh, and that's when you're working with bigger things. When you're working with stuff like this, it really doesn't make a difference. So damn small anyway. Now let's cut this off here. And then I'll show you, for those of you who never did decal work or transfer, like we've got here, um, just how easy it can be and also it can be a pain in the ass. So be ready, have patience and take your time because i'm telling you it if one if something doesn't stick just right you know or it comes off too soon you have to be paying attention at all times because if not it's just not going to work for you so sit down get comfortable give yourself a nice work area to work on and then uh, go for it now what I'll do is I'll show you what I'm talking about here with this. These are easy. 
So I'll take the biggest one. Uh, I think it's this one. Now, if I want to put this on something, now already it's on the paper that it was printed or cut out on. Then I put the clear transfer paper on that. So that's where we're at so far. All right. So anyway, we want to make sure we have it on a clean surface, first of all. Clean surface. All right. So we want to make sure we're on a clean surface. Excuse me, guys. I'm screwing out the camera here. Uh, so normally I would wipe that down with something. And if you use water, you want to make sure that it's dry. Now there's a rule. There's two things here. Some guys, if you're putting something down that's big, they like to give it a mist. I'm talking just a mist of water. Because if not, sometimes the decal will stick to it right away and it gives you no room for error. So, by having that little mist of water, and I mean a mist, a fine mist, like you hold the bottle like three feet away, you know, and you kind of like just let it fall on it. But if you do it that way, first you got to make sure you... You rub it all, once it's on, you got to keep rubbing. Got to get all the water out, all the bubbles out. Now you may not see all the bubbles, or get all the bubbles out, but the little, little ones that you may or may not got, once it's in the sun, a day or so, they'll, they'll clean right up. Um, but you're going to have to let that sit there until that water dries before you pull the transfer paper off. Now if you got it clean and it's dry, I'm going to pull the transfer paper off here, and when I do, it's going to take this with it. Okay? So now, the decal is on the transfer paper, and this is the sticky side. So now I'm going to take that, and I'm going to put it down here. <clears throat> now if it's warm out, or the product that you're working on is warm, it goes a lot easier. If it's too hot, it'll be a pain in the ass. So, you, like if it's in direct sunlight, get some shade around it for a while. Let it cool down, it's gonna be too hot. So anyway, I'm just rubbing it because this is a little chilly. I just wanna get a little warmth on it. But normally, you don't have to go through all this. Anyway, normally I would have this, and I would, you know, the hard one. I wanna make sure that the glue on the decal is sticking to the product that I'm putting it on. So now she's on. So now when I pull the, the, the transfer paper off, I want to keep it back on itself. See it? I'm not lifting it up. I'm actually pulling it back over itself. All right, and that's basically it. Then I take the soft one and then you just kind of wipe over it to make sure that it's done. And that is how it's done. Now, if you're going to use something and do something big, what you would do is, before you take the transfer paper off, you have everything measured out the way you want, you take a piece of good-sized masking tape, and you put it on here, partially on this, and the other half on that. So it's like half and half. Put it on. Now, you can use that as a hinge, and you can flip this back over because the masking tape is acting like a hinge. Then you can pull off the backing, start pulling off the backing, and bring it over. And again, the masking tape is going to be holding it, so now from beneath, I'm pulling the back paper off. And as I'm doing that, I'm rubbing this down. You follow me? To get it on. So... All right, so that's that. So that's how that's done. Now, it was kind of easy doing it with just that one piece. When you guys get these, uh, Drew, when you get these, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because there's little pieces here that you're going to have to keep an eye on when you're pulling this transfer paper back off itself. You know, like I say, you want to peel it right back on itself. Pull it back on itself. Don't lift it up, you know, like this. Pull it right back on itself. 
pull it back this way. So, and then watch it as you're doing it because if something starts to come off with it, it's not, you can stop, get a little needle or something and, and get it back down there. All right, so here's four. Uh, you see what I gotta kinda go through. I may change it a little bit, um, but these are kind of the original, but when I change it, um, I'll make it a lot easier as well. So hopefully when you get these, everything will be okay, and all the paper and everything will work, and uh, the cold weather shouldn't affect it too much, I'm hoping anyway. If it does, and you have a problem, just let me know, and I'll think of a way of getting it to you. Um, even if I have to put it in a press. <laughs> so, alright guys.